<laughs> now, this is where the conversation is about to get really good because yeah. you are married to a very powerful woman. Yeah. And I see that she's very accomplished. Mm -hmm. And you are accomplished in your own right. Can you talk to the men right now about being in a relationship with a powerful woman? <laughs> so how I would answer the question yes. is that, okay. you know, no man is an island. Right. And people need people. One of the biggest mistakes that we as men make is that we try to be, we, we try to be the macho man. We could do everything. We could handle everything by ourselves. And it's a recipe for your downfall. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's, it's human nature. You need people. You need people to bounce things off of, people to help you with the things that you aren't strong with. Right. Now, I'm a creative. And I was fortunate to have a certain bit of humility about me that I gained because I was raised by pure women. You know, my mom, my grandmother, my great-grandmothers who raised me. Mm -hmm. So I have a certain level of respect for women um, and appreciation. So when I, when I, I had the, the opportunity to actually start working with my wife on a, on a business level, it was not a problem for me because I always knew that I needed somebody who, did, who knew what I didn't right. and who had my back because, hey, I got to your back, you know? They ain't got no ulterior motives because, hey, she in the same house with me. We, she cooked for me. She helped me with everything, you know, the bank account, everything. Right. You know, she steal from me, she steal from herself. Mm -hmm. Right? So, <laughs> right. Basically. you know, that, that for me was, was very comfortable to, to do, um, especially in the beginning when we started working where I had issues with my past management. Mm. Now... It's not easy. You know, my wife is a very sophisticated woman. She's a very strong black woman, very um, take charge, take control. And why, I'm, I don't mean to cut you off, but uh, why is it that it, why does it seem like some men are afraid of that? Well, you know, if you're accustomed to the, the thing where you want a woman who just look good and cook for you and take care of the kids, and then you have something that is like, oh, she can literally hold her own and do her own thing. Right. Like, it, it becomes kind of an ego thing. You know, it kind of messes with the ego. Mm -hmm. But you have to, and you know, as a man, it's kind of built in in the DNA that you want to be the one that's taking charge and taking control. Mm -hmm. But for me, a part of taking charge and taking control is knowing when to relinquish charge and relinquish control and give it to somebody who can do it better. It doesn't mean that... Are y'all listening, fellas? Yeah. Are y'all <laughs> listening to this married man right here speak <laughs> the truth? Go ahead, Kevin. Yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, to cut it's you all off. good. Go ahead, go ahead. You know, it doesn't mean that you ain't still in charge. Right. It doesn't mean that you ain't still the leader and you ain't making good decisions. Exactly. It just means that you are a leader. You know, and leaders, a part of leading is knowing when to sit back and, and allow yourself to be led. It, it really helps. And, you know, my wife, I, I give her her accolades. She's a, a doctor. Mm -hmm. um, I just couldn't help that. <laughs> that was great. She's a doctor of civil and architectural engineering. She specializes in green technology. Mm -hmm. She saw the potential in my business and she is somewhat of a jack of all trades like she can float from a, a, a being someone who is almost like if they have an mba to someone who is like a a boss um director of a music video or something yeah, like yeah. that like she switches hats true very, definition of jack of all trades uh, right? yeah yeah so you know i saw that 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 abil those abilities in her, mm -hmm. and I didn't have a problem with letting her right. explore her strengths and see Because where, you're secure yeah. in your manhood. Exactly, exactly. You That's know, why. I, I have no problems with a woman being more wealthy than me or, or, take, or being able to take more of the responsibility than me because, you know what, it's not that I'm not responsible or taking responsibility, but she might be better at doing certain things that I'm not. Right. And in the the realm of our current existence as human beings on this earth, we have something called time that we're fighting against. Mm -hmm. And there isn't time when you have goals to achieve for you to learn new things right there and slow down the, the, process, the process of getting to that goal. Right. You know, when you have people that can help you, you know, you, you pick up on the way. 
You let them do what they do. You watch, you learn, but you don't try to do it yourself. Exactly. If you, can. you know, you, you learn to work with it and, and, and get there. Get the goal satisfied. Yeah. And if there's a little time on the side for you to learn something more to add to, add to your belt, you do that. Right. You know? I can't wait until I find my husband and he talk about me like that. You must feel real <laughs> good right now, wifey, right? That's awesome. That's how you're supposed to uplift your queen. I love it.